Hey people, this is Aniket from DIYGeek and today I am going to show you how you can install two channel or one channel relay switch to turn on and off the LED because the light is on all the time when the projector was plugged in. So let's get started. Actually I got this two channel relay in the price of one channel relay that's why I am going to install this two channel relay but you can install one channel relay also to operate the LED this small beast could handle 10 ampere at 250 volt so it could be sufficient for the task and uh, normally when the motherboard is not sending the signal to this relay coil then it opens the circuit so the LED is off and when it receives the signal from motherboard to one of the opto isolator you can see there is a two opto isolator is here i will show you how to figure it out from the motherboard signal uh, from here to send a signal to this relay so that it send the current through the relay switch the led drivers on and off and in this way the led would behave exactly like the original lamp and it's turned on and off with the projector power switch. This relay switch is operated with the 5 volt input and uh, here we can see, uh, let me focus it. Here you can see that uh, there is a VCC, VCC and ground and ground input 1, input 2 and VCC. Mm, input 1, input 2 we can send the signal from the motherboard to input 1 and input 2 means uh, there is a 2 channel relay so for input 1 for one uh, relay and input 2 for the second relay and this VCC and ground we can give the power from the motherboard to this relay so let me show you how you can give the power supply from the motherboard to this relay to operate and how you can send the signal to this relay from the motherboard guys you can see that uh, this is a power supply uh, which has different voltages so I will show you uh, from where you can take 5 volt output for the uh, 2 channel relay so here you can see that uh, there is a blue wire and the black wire black wire is a ground and blue wire is for 5 volt supply I'm going to show you uh, whether it is 5 volt or not exactly so let me power it on uh, black is for ground and blue is for and blue is for you can see that this is a 5 volt exactly 5.123 it's varying so I we need this one whatever the blue wire is there it is a 5 volt you can see that so we are going to take output from these wires for the relays okay let me uh, solder it here you can see that uh, I supplied the 5 volt to this relay channel with this yellow uh, wire we can give the input from the motherboard so that it will turn on uh, means it will send it will send the signal to the relay and the relay will switch on the LED light so let me give you the small demo I'm going to use the probe of the multimeter to find out which one is sending signal to the uh, to the blast for turning on the light guys you can see that I connected this yellow cable with the uh, red probe of the multimeter so I am going to test which is send which wire of this input output cable sending the signal to the blast to turn on the light so if I touching to the blue one it, nothing is happening if I touching to the yellow one nothing is happening then orange one then red one then one on red it is turning on and brown one nothing is happen so we are not going to touch red one and brown one because brown one is ground and red one is sending the signal to the motherboard so
so we just leave it and we just actually I already found find that if I touch the yellow uh, cable if I switch on the projector we can observe that uh, it will send the signal to the blast but in this case it's a relay if the light is present or not it will check three times you can see the demo see this is the first time it's turn off again it will send one more time means second time this is the second time it is checking whether the lamp is present or not because right now it is not getting any signal that's why it is checking three times uh, this is the third time it will check whether the light is present or not then after that it will uh, show the red LED means red light that lamp is not present on the board so this will be the second third time yeah and after that you can hear the sound that lamp is not present uh, speed of the fan sound and here you can see that the red light is blinking the lamp is not present guys right now I uh, figure it out one more thing actually if I directly sort these two are uh, red and brown then I think it is not good so guys I'm going to use both channel here you can see that the yellow wire is sending signal to the relay and after tripping this relay uh, it is sorting the wire red one and the brown one so that the mother will think that the light is present see if I turn on the projector it is sending signal to the relay relay is turning on and again it is sending back signal back to the motherboard and it is telling that the light is present so right now I am using only one channel in next next I am going to connect this yellow wire to the next relay channel and the same thing happening with the, this one and this is for drivers LED drivers and it will keep the turn on as you can see that there is a final installation uh, here I just take three wires two for in, uh, one for output and two for input where one uh, two wire means <coughs> blue and green go to this relay and one goes for the input and second relay I am using for the drivers where it, uh, switch on the drivers uh, when the motherboard sent to the signal so let me switch it on and you will uh, heard the sound of trip of the both relay at the same time so just let me switch it on and you can also observe the light is turned on after powering on the projector here you can see that power is on so let me assemble it and I will show you the final result. Now guys you can see the final result. When I switching it on. You can hear the sound and now you can see the projection. is fine and uh, let me switch it off the projector and I will show you it switched off let me switch it on <coughs> and you can see the projection at the same time see Epson and here's the projection okay guys if you like my video please give a thumbs up 
and subscribe my channel for the future update in future i am going to install 50 watt led and 100 watt led and we can show you the final result for now that's it this is aniket from diy geek signing off